Hello everyone, my name is Chris. On November 12th, I published that there was an issue getting Flash Player to work with the Nexus 5 because it was on KitKat 4.4. Since then, uh, Survivaland published a guide on XDA developers. I'll put a link to that in the comments section below on how to get it working. One of the first things we're going to want to do is go into our settings. We're going to go down to security and then down to unknown sources. Make sure that's checked. It's going to give you this warning. You're going to be installing something outside of the Google Play Store. Just make sure you're using a trusted source. Let's go ahead and back out. This device does not have Dolphin Browse installed. Flash Player will not work with Chrome. It pretty much never has. We're going to find Dolphin Browser. There it is. You can just search Dolphin and it'll pop up. Go ahead and hit Install and Accept. On my other devices, it doesn't have the uh, setting that we're going to be modifying uh, right now, but when you download it on your Nexus 5, it should already have Jetpack as an option in the settings, so you don't have to do an additional installation. As other devices, become upgradable to 4.4, you'll probably have to use this method as well to get Flash Player running. Let's go ahead and scroll through those. Now we're going to want to hit the dolphin in the bottom left, and then scroll over to settings. Hit the settings. Dolphin Jetpack, you're going to want to make sure that's enabled. Go to web content. Here you can set Flash Player to always on, on demand, or off. I'm going to go ahead and go always on. It gives you two shortcuts, not sure why. I'll show you that Flash isn't working yet. Flash Games 24-7. We'll hit Stargazer. And you can see I'm getting that little question mark box right there. Go ahead and go to where I've put the download. I don't know who to give credit to the actual APK. I placed it at flash 2cricket users. com. It redirects and I'll start this automatic download flash player kitkat.apk. We'll go ahead and click OK. You can see the download progress right there. Either click it from your uh, standby bar or notification drop down or go to the download spot with a file manager. Go ahead and launch the installation. Click install. Click open and hit Dolphin Browser. Usually when these settings come up, it's a good sign that it's going to work. So here we have that. And as you can see, it does work now. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to leave a few links. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's only through viewers like you I'm able to purchase these devices and do these videos. So thanks for watching.